With over 95 million photos and images being shared on Instagram on a daily basis, it's becoming more and more popular amongst creatives, artists, and business professionals to share their valued assets on this social media platform. It's a great way to increase your marketing exposure, but along with it, you need to be aware of the implications against the copyright of your work in relation to the terms and conditions when you sign up. When you sign up to Instagram, for example, you are actually allowing this third-party social network to get access to your images, to pass them on to a third party without you knowing, and even if they choose to do so, theoretically, they could sell your images for profit without giving any of those proceeds to you, the creator. Also, you have the issue of followers and users browsing through the timeline, uh, taking screenshots of your images, and potentially sharing it amongst their own social network without crediting you appropriately. So in order to protect your work, it's a great idea to add a watermark to your image. And unfortunately, it's not as easy as it sounds with the default software that comes with your phone or using Instagram or any other social media network. They don't usually provide the option to add a layer on your artwork and overlay the artwork with text or images. So in order to create a watermark, you'll need to download some third-party software. The one I'm gonna to recommend today and run through as a tutorial is Adobe Photoshop Mix. It's a free download. You just need to sign up and create an Adobe account if you don't already have one. Once you've downloaded it, you can add either a logo-based watermark or text-based watermark and save it down to your camera library and then share it to your social media platform. So let's go ahead and take a look at how it's done. So I've got Adobe Photoshop Mix open. I've just tapped on the icon on the screen of my iPhone. And as soon as you open it, you'll be taken to the home screen, which contains a couple of demo projects. And there's a plus button on the top right hand corner, which you can tap to create your own project. Upon doing so, you'll be asked to select your first image. I'm gonna choose an image that's in my camera roll. It's a photo of an Audi TT and I'd like to place an image based logo on the top right hand corner. So to do this, I'm going to tap on the plus icon just above the thumbnail image of my main image layer. So you tap on the plus button and then you'll be asked to create either an image or a text layer. As mentioned, I want an image here, so I'm gonna tap on image and then I'm going to select my logo for touch technology review, the channel that you're currently viewing and I'm gonna place that as a watermark on top of the image. Now, when you first do so, a prompt will appear on the screen asking you if you want to change the canvas size to match your new artwork. I'm going to say no, because I wanna keep the dimensions of my original image. And then as you can see, the logo is rather large, so I'm going to need to resize it. And resizing is really simple, as you would expect on an iOS device, or even if you're using Android. You're simply going to tap it and pinch in so that you can contract the size of this image. That's about the right size. Now I'm just going to drag it to the top left hand corner in the appropriate position. And that's all there is to it. Now you can leave it at full opacity or you can go ahead and change the opacity of your watermark so it's not so obvious. To do so, tap on the blend tool on the bottom navigation bar, and then you'll see a slider appear, which has a range from zero to 100. Go ahead and move the slider from left to right until you get the right amount of opacity on your watermark. For this particular example, however, I'm going to place it at 100% opacity so that it really stands out. So in order to export the image, tap on the save image icon just on the top bar near the right hand corner of the screen and select camera roll. Then you can open up Instagram and upload your new watermarked image directly from the camera roll. Let's take a look at another example. For this particular image, I don't want to use a logo. I'm just going to use a line of text. In order to do so, I'll tap on the plus button once again, but this time, I'll select the text option rather than image. This gives me a text layer. You can tap on the text box that appears in the middle of the screen and you can use the menu at the bottom of the screen to adjust the font size and style of text. Once you're happy with that, you can drag your text into position. I'm going to go for the right hand corner in this particular example. 
And then once again, we can use the blend mode to change the opacity of that text layer. In this particular example, I've dropped the opacity all the way down to 24%, which is a much more subtle look. As you can see, you can drag the canvas away from the right hand thumbnail navigation so you can get a better look at the layout. And I'm pretty happy with that. So it's time to save once again, tapping on the icon in the top menu bar, just to the right and selecting save to camera roll. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and also consider subscribing to the channel and you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one. Bye for now.